away from me, it was two months into us seeing each other. I thought of rape as the stranger who comes to get you, um, so I didn't think of it as rape at the time. I was 14, and I felt like I deserved everything he did, and if I was a good girlfriend, then he wouldn't have to rape me. Um, all I knew about dating violence or abusive relationship was hitting, and since my boyfriend at the time never hit me, then it was normal, and anything that was happening that maybe I didn't like was my own fault. Now that I'm older, I really see that dating violence happens to so many people. So many people talk to me about it since I'm so open about my own experience that it's people you never would think it could happen to. You say dating violence. What about it when the violence is perpetrated by a female to a male. She was intoxicated and actually she swung on me. She became belligerent, violent, the cops came, I was arrested. Most in these situations, women get the benefit of the doubt. A lot of relationships is, is like that to this day. Many, ones that's reported, unreported. And some even live with it. So he beat me up, I deserve it. I mean, this, this, this the guy beat you up and at the same time he buy you a box of chocolate candy, take you out for dinner, you dine and wine, you make love to you. It's kind of creepy, but <laughs> it is what it is. Dating violence definitely can turn into domestic violence where there's marriage and children and financial um, ties. It's a real community problem. all need to come together and really fight to prevent it from happening when it does happen to prevent it from continuing. The individual, if they violent, right, got a violent tendency, you're going to see that coming. And you try not to get in no places alone with the individual because it just be your word against their word. Sometimes it might not be a warning sign. It might just be a burst of violence. So that burst of violence, that might be the, might not be able to have a warning sign. The warning sign could be a person yelling, being demanding, being controlled, being like, where you at, where you been at, why you answering your phone, out of that. That's the simple, that's the basics, right? But you might not have a warning. You might, you might just, just flip out. He's more worse than a guy that strikes out periodically. Because he, if he builds it all up, he might let him kill you. My experience hasn't made me stronger at all. Put it this way, I, every time I have a birthday, I'm surprised that I'm alive and that I made it this far. I was hospitalized when I was 15, um, 15 or 16 for being suicidal. I have scars still to this day on my wrist from cutting myself. I've had people in my life who have saved my life um, at different points in my life and have, have helped me and have, you know, kept me going. Without them, um, I don't think I would be alive. I don't think that dating violence is something that you overcome, forget. It can break you. I think we should all fight so that no one has to go through this. That you're important. You know, you are a valuable person, you're a good person. You don't deserve to have anyone hit you or put you down, sexually abuse you, or anything like that because you're better than that. You gotta go back to that old fashioned getting to know a person. People say, well, you're never here. Back in the days, it was like six months. I have to wait a year. And when it can sneak up on you and you, you open up your eyes and all of a sudden you're in this abusive relationship that you never think you would ever be in. You can still walk away. It's never too late to walk away and pick yourself up.